Yay, we got a little art haul. Uh, came from Blix, obviously, and got this monster box. And we're going to get rid of this monster box because the things are really small in it. And we didn't need to uh, have quite uh, so much stuffing. And now you see that there is hardly anything in this monster box. Isn't it funny that even though there's not a ton of things in the box, it costs a fortune and a half. So today I got a little uh, Blackwing haul. Um, so let's get a couple of these other things. Um, this is the Windsor & Newton Blending Medium. I heard that you can actually use this for your gouache and go ahead and mix it in and it'll make it dry slower, which is great if you're working off of a palette. But also, I want to pan some of my gouache into a palette and they say if it dries slower that you'll be able to have it not crack as much. So we're going to give that a whirl in the near. And then I got this, which is new out, the Blackwing Soft Handheld Eraser. Let's see what this looks like. Not quite sure. It just looked interesting. They always put it in such nice little boxes. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll have to try it out in a minute. And then I got this brush to do bricks with. Most people know that I do, if you've been watching, that I do a lot of the urban sketching and I do a lot of little bricks. And I thought this would be perfect. It is the Stroke, One Stroke by Princeton Heritage. And it's kind of got a, like a film, like there was another sticker on it. I really don't like the stickers. I always have to peel them off and then use like goo off or whatever. But I thought this would make perfect little bricks. And we'll give that a try. And then I do have their sharpener. So I, I saw that they offered the replacement blades and just to have them on hand. Talk about a fancy box for blades for the sharpener but I use this in my travel kit and it works really well because it puts all the shavings in the container and stuff and I don't have to worry about the disposal of it. And then for the star of the show, the Blackwing Eras. And this is supposed to be their extra firm lead, which I do use in coordination with their um, matte black one. So let's see if we can get this sleeve off. And... Look how pretty. It just makes you feel fancy when you are using something so pretty. We've got Blackwing Era on one side. On the other side, it says half the pressure, twice the speed with the little arrows. And it's kind of um, gold with a muted red eraser, very classic in, I wouldn't call this totally matte, but I wouldn't call it glossy either. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, so maybe a eggshell kind of finish on the black. Very pretty. So let's get that sharpened up and see how it feels. It sharpened perfectly. The wood is all smooth, not broken up. Sometimes you can see the brittleness of the wood if it's not good quality wood. Sharpened to a nice sharp point. And let's test that out. All right, let's see how the lead feels. nice and smooth and I do want to compare it to my favorite black and you can see the difference in the look. The 
this is the era. And you can see how much darker. Let's zoom you in just a little bit. That this one is so much darker than the era. This is a much harder lead. And now we'll take a look at the um, 602, which is their classic pencil. Let's see how that. tiny bit darker so that would be the lightest coming out the era then the 602 then the black and I also have a pearl so let's go ahead and see how the pearl looks and the pearl does tend to be a little bit softer but not quite as dark as that so, if I was going to put them in order, I would put the matte as the darkest, the pearl, the 602, and then the era as hardness. So this would be your softest, and this would be your hardest. Let's go ahead and do a little bit harder of a pressure. You can get pretty dark with the matte. and the pearl. And the 602. I'm trying to use the same pressure. It's kind of human error here a little bit. And you can see there that they do go a little bit deeper as you go around. And my favorite two are the, the matte black um, as the darkest, and then I thought I was going to give this one a whirl. I had been using the 602, but lighter marks for when I do watercolor. I hope this comparison helps. Sometimes it's kind of hard when they say firm, extra firm, soft, um, to see exactly um, how much the pencil actually lays down. Um, these two look very similar. It is the classic design that they had always had. And now let's go ahead and check out my little brush and um, see how that makes marks. All right, I went ahead and got a little Payne's Gray out. And let's see if this will make good bricks for me. It has been raining and raining here, which is odd for how cold it actually should be. I think this will be fun for details. Lots of fun. Something new to play with. I almost forgot to test the eraser, so let's go ahead and see how this works. It takes it off pretty well. I'm not pushing hard either. It does leave a little bit of dust, quite a bit of dust actually. Would I say this is worth it? Probably not. Pencils, absolutely. 
of course I did need the replacement blades and if you'd like to see what I'm doing with the gouache palette and how I'm gonna make it and how I'm gonna try and get the paints to not crack as they dry so that I can just have a dry palette ready to go at any given time um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we'll go ahead and do that together I look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you so much for joining me on this little mini art supply haul bye bye